and let's go ahead and drop down. I hear that thing. <laughs> Boom. It turned on the turret and just. Hey guys, welcome to Break and Rust. I'm Invis, and today we're going to be going over setting up auto turrets in the bucket drop down cave bases. So the bucket drop down cave bases was uh, favored for a very long time because you could wall off the main, what would be the main entrance to the the base, and you can make the bucket drop down the new entrance. You would drop down. You'd spawn, you'd die, you'd spawn inside, you'd get your stuff, uh, and then you'd open the door, go get your stuff, and go back into your base. Now, for raiding, it makes it very difficult. You have to drop down, hope that you survive, you get up, you put the bucket up, and you bring down your buddies. So what people started doing is putting auto turrets. And with them on, it would uh, essentially el uh, just eliminate the possibility of somebody surviving the drop but with the recent changes to electricity these now require power well if you're up above the surface that's not a problem because you can have solar panels wind turbines uh, to provide the power constantly with no problem down here however power is very important and you do not want to drain it uh, by having the turret on all the time so this setup allows you to have a functioning turret and it not drain your battery super quickly so let's go ahead and get started real quick guys i just want to show you if you go to brickandrust.net it will be our server website you can come over here take a look at our servers uh, the mods that we have on them and uh, exclusive perks uh, they're just quality of life perks such as furnace splitter stuff like that uh, we also have an amazing community you can follow us on discord instagram take a look at our youtube videos that we have uh, that we've added to the website and are not all by us as well as our server list of streamers come down here you can see we have a ton of streamers that join our server uh, so it's a lot of fun uh, so I hope you guys uh, come and take a look at this all right guys so this is everything that you will need in order to set up the auto turret system you'll need a wire tool a battery a medium or large will work a small battery will not because it does not hold enough uh, wattage to last a whole night you'll need at least one small generator I do recommend putting two in so that you can charge twice as fast if you do you will need a root combiner and I'll go over that later you'll need a splitter the heartbeat sensor a time switch obviously the turret and a hammer and I'll go over why you need the hammer in a little bit too This is what it's going to uh, look like when you're done setting everything up. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to want to do is pull out the battery and press R three times so that the power input and output is actually facing you. Then on this space over here, I like to put the first generator. And let's go ahead and plug that in. Go ahead and fill this up. It holds a maximum of 500 low grade fuel. We're going to turn that on. And you'll notice that every couple of seconds, your, your capacity goes up by one. Continuing on, we're going to place a splitter. And we're going to run the power to the splitter. I went ahead and turned off the generator right now for the rest of this uh, video just so that it's not making a ton of noise in the background. So to continue on, 
you're going to put the heartbeat sensor up the very front as close as you can get it to the front of your uh, base as close as you can get it to this bucket here you can also go ahead and place a turret if you have one at this time keep in mind that you may have to build up to all of this over time due to the fact that you have to find everything all right and then you want to kind of hide the switch it's not as important to hide it but I don't know I just do it out of habit all right we're gonna go back up to the top grab the splitter and on the first output let's kind of make this just a little clean all right and then we're gonna go downstairs And this is going to go to, into the power input for the heartbeat sensor. And the reason for that is we want the heartbeat sensor to go off and activate the switch. So the toggle on, we're going to have it activate it. Going back upstairs, we're going to go to the switch. And we're going to go to the splitter. Again, just trying to make this a little clean. You don't have to if you don't want to. Alright, then we're going to go back over to the time switch. We're going to plug that in. And then on the output gonna go to the turret and that's everything that you need to set this up now the reason why I have the hammer is as you can see this is set to automatically include any heartbeat sensor but if you push and hold the E button while, when the hammer is on you, you can have it exclude authorized people. And that means anybody who's authorized on the TC, it will now no longer uh, set it off for them so that your turret is not turning on when you're going in and out of your base. <gasps> while looking at your timed switch, if you push and hold E, you can go to set time and you can set it for 10 seconds, 15, you can have it three minutes, whatever you want. Just keep in mind, the longer you have this set for, the turret will be on that whole time and draining your battery a little bit quicker. So I'm putting some ammo in here and I'm gonna go ahead and clear the authorization on here. I'm going to also Turn that on. We're going to tell it to include me now. And we're going to go back up to the top. Now that we're at the top, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off God Mode and show you what it looks like from a Raider's perspective. So we're going to hit Enter. Now my God Mode is turned off. And let's go ahead and drop down. I hear that thing. <laughs> Boom. It turned on the turret and just shut me down. So now there's no possibility of me... Uh, getting back up and sending the basket up for the rest of my raiding buddies.
Alright guys, that's going to go ahead and conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and a comment. That actually does help the exposure of this channel and this video. Uh, so this month of November, if we get to full pop uh, and, and stay there, we will be giving out this whole skin set, including a Bolte, a Thompson, and the Road Sign chest piece. So anyways, please uh, check in with our servers, help get us to full pop again, and win yourself one of these skins.